Fort Myers is a beloved destination for people across the country and right here in Florida, but now much of the place so loved is gone. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow spent the day in Fort Myers where people are trying to salvage anything that's left. We're standing on a street that got up to five feet of storm surge. And as you can see, people are now dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Ian, now having to get rid of most of their things. We talked to one woman who said everything that she had in her home had to go. So this obviously has been such a devastating storm, and this is going to be something that is going to take a very long time to recover from just all destroyed, all ripped apart. Storm surge rushing through the streets and into this house made for a life threatening situation. Eventually the water gets up to about here. Hurricane Ian robbed them of almost everything. Their entire lives sitting out on the street. It literally looked like someone took the house, turned it upside down and turned it back up. Just a sliver of the destruction Hurricane Ian left behind. A little shaking up. At the Legacy Harbor Marina, boats tossed ashore in a pile, docks destroyed, concrete crushed. Gurgling manholes spewing wastewater into the streets. Neighbors in line on foot for their chance at just a little bit of gas. But in desperate times, there's always hope. If there's any good out of this, it's just it's a time to bring everyone together. First responders from the Tampa Bay area have stepped up to help with rescue efforts and neighbors one by one are stepping up to help each other. If it brings this country together, amen. We'll just keep doing that.